I have long wanted a tarp that joins bike and tent, acting as a cover for my PR7 and a foyer for my tents. Finding a lightweight tarp and the size required proved impossible. So I designed and fabricated my tarp by joining two smaller ones. As an older tent traveller, it is always difficult to balance comfort and weight when deciding what equipment to carry for the trip. Budget also gets in the way of the perfect solution and inventiveness is required if I am to achieve the right blend. In addition, I like my equipment to be enduring and as versatile as possible, which is sometimes hard to find in cheaper products. To make life a little more comfortable on the road, I recently set about updating my gear ready for next year's runs out. Mocking up my base camp was necessary to work out the best fit and establish where to stitch folds and guy rope lengths to minimise wind flap, ensuring the bike tarp overlapped the tent tarp to aid rain runoff. To keep weight down, I used various fixing attachments to preclude the need for too many tent pegs. Utilising the tent guy rods also helped to tie the tarp over the ridge pole. Fixing the tie wraps through the eyelets allows enough room to quickly loop the guy rope through. Adjusting the tension is a simple sliding of the guy rope to the desired position. Joining tarps meant eyelets in the central position, so a rain cover was needed to reduce the possibility of drips. While I was trying to keep size and weight as low as possible, I also had one eye on the possibility of using the tarp as a rain shelter or quick bivvy if pitching a tent was not necessary or possible. So the longer dimension was required to provide a comfortable area for one sleeping or two sitting. Having achieved a reasonably tight tension on the tarp, it became obvious that things could be improved with a tent pole, so resizing of this adjustable pole was needed. It provides me with many options in height, ranging from the diagonal install given about a metre, through to the four 1.6 metres on the vertical. The adjustment holes allow 35mm increments which add some great versatility. It can be used as a fast shelter or with a central tent pole for more headroom or with a diagonal pole for easier access in better weather. Because the tarp only provides cover to the top half of the bike, wind can still blow through the machine. So a few additional loops and ties on my ground sheet allows it to be used as a windbreak when needed. I still have access to my bags and the bike seat to use as a shelf. The upright can be folded over and staked down to help protect gear outside the tent in bad weather. The sheet also acts as my tent locator. From centre of the rear wheel to front tyre for line up and I've added some peg loops to designate the one metre gap from the bike to the tent floor. For those interested, the weight for the main tarp is 662 grams. The windbreak weighs 197 grams and the pole weighs in at 410 grams, a total of 1269. As a part of my comfort update, I've also added a stove option to my kit. See my short video on the Primus Light XL. To counter this extra weight, I've had a ruthless overall of my tooling and baggage contents. Everything from my razor to ratchet and screwdriver options have been swapped out to balance the increase. My current tent for tech travel is the two-man Naturite Targa, weighing around one and a quarter kilos and packing to 44 by 10 centimeters. It's fairly light and it's quick to put up, ideal for one-night turnarounds. The tarp laps a ridge pole and gives a bit more cover for this single-skin tent. For travels that involve longer stays or near winter conditions, I use the two-man Van Gogh Hydra 200 which weighs in at 2.66 kilos and packs to 46 by 17 centimetres. Slightly heavier, warmer and very strong, this tent is ideal for those trips where bad weather is on the horizon. The tarp sits over the front ridge pole in this configuration. The testing sessions in my garden have gone well, but we'll see how things perform in the real world next year. Anyway, that's my base camp set up. I hope it gives you some ideas for yours. Happy camping and thanks for watching.